so hey guys what is up welcome back to another video on my channel so today i am going to be doing a sims 3 video which um the only other sims 3 video i have on my channel is a creator sim uh go check that out uh, uh, what am i doing okay go check that out if you have not seen that yet but um I have actually been playing a lot more with The Sims 3 recently because I, as you may or may not know, I play on a Mac, so um, obviously The Sims 3 uh, runs really badly on Mac computers. Uh, I've always had problems with The Sims 3 on my computer, and I have a, a computer that can decently run Sims 4, as you guys know, because I make all my videos in Sims 4. Recently, I've really wanted to try and fix it. So I have managed to fix the most of my problems and uh, the reason for the majority of the problems in the game was actually just my custom content. So anyway, uh, aside from some three troubles, here we are in the game. Um, I love Sims 3 and I love Sims 4. I love them both. They're both awesome, great, amazing games. And I've just been wanting to play more with pets and with toddlers. Without further ado, I am going to show you my current household now. So, um, we are in Appaloosa, Appaloosa Plains, I think it's called. Yeah, Appaloosa Plains. Um... It's it's a cute world, obviously came with pets, you guys will most likely all have this world if you play Sims 3 and, and yeah. Um, and if you don't have pets, then get pets because it's one of the most important expansion packs in my opinion. So anyway, here we are in Appaloosa Plains. But yeah, these are my Sims and this is the little house here. I've done a lot of renovation, well not a lot. But I have done a bit, I've changed the outside and everything, um, done some landscape and put a tree up and everything, it's really cute. So if we go inside, first I'm going to show you my sims and then I'll give you a teeny weeny house tour because this house is absolutely tiny. So, uh, first of all we're going to start with my sim here, Piper. This is Piper Mason, she is super adorable. <laughs> these these this is her outfit um i made over my sims for um autumn or fall as you americans like to call it yeah so this is her autumn outfit and it's pretty cute i i do love it i do love it uh these are base game shoes just recolored because i also miss create a um create a style or whatever it was called um because obviously you don't have that much customization in Sims 4. So this is good for uh, Sims 3. So uh, she also has this really cute long skirt and sweater outfit combo. It's one whole outfit. So that's real cute. And I love her hair. It's pink. Um, this color I actually made myself. in also in like creative style or like just customizing her hair and I love the hair so much I can't remember where the hair is from but it's really cute um so yeah this is Piper I'll tell you more about her as well so she has 19 days until she ages up to an adult um I made the uh you know the uh lifespan longer like um made the young adult span age whatever <laughs> longer um, so that they live longer and then that reset their ages, which I kind of forgot about. It reset their ages so they're back to the beginning, but, or well, they were back to the beginning, but now they're, I haven't been playing with them for too long, but, um, we're on week two, day six. So, yeah, I've been playing with them a little bit, but not, uh, not heaps, obviously. So she's good. She's a genius. She's charismatic. She's ambitious and she's a dog person. Hence the reason why we have two dogs, because... My other sim over here, Julian Fredrickson, also is a dog person. <laughs> um, so yeah, she's an Aries. And she loves rap music, mac and cheese, and the colour pink. Um, she knows a few people. She also knows a cat, apparently. <laughs> uh, she's level 2 in the medical career. She's a bedpan cleaner. Uh, she's due for a promotion pretty much the next time she goes to work. 
which is in two days and 17 hours, mind you, which is really annoying. But she earns 30 simoleons per hour, which is pretty good. She's level 2 logic, level 2 science, and level 1 cooking. Um, yeah, inventory. <laughs> um, I could get something with these points, but I'm not too sure of it yet. And yeah, and we did get burgled recently, which is really annoying. Um, <laughs> that's not fun. That's never fun. So, yeah. Um, so here we are moving on over to Mr. Julian Fredrickson. I will actually give you, no, I'm not going to move over to Julian yet. I'm going to give you some more information on Piper here. So Piper, um, I really want her, like her, I forgot about the lifetime wish. Okay. Her lifetime wish is to be a world-renowned surgeon, so she wants to reach level 10 in the medical career track. So I, uh, originally when I started making her, I wanted her to be kind of ditzy and, you know, just kind of forgets what she's doing and everything, but I actually made her the complete opposite. She's really onto it. Um, she's, she's a genius, so she's incredibly smart. Um, she has to be to become a surgeon, you know. Um, she's really ambitious, so that is, you know, she's aiming for that. She's aiming real high. Um, the fact that she's only level 2 doesn't phase her at the moment. She knows that she can get there. She knows she's capable of becoming a surgeon, and that is her life wish and goal. That's what she wants to do with her life, is, you know, just be a celebrated surgeon and helping people, because she's also good. So she really loves helping people. And she's also charismatic, so that helps her get along with all the people she meets and everything like that. So, yeah. Um, so, hopefully that gave you a little more information into Piper. I really love Piper. She's super cute. Um, and here we have Julian, if we could find him in the wall. Okay, so... Oh, that is... that is weird. That's... <laughs> that was weird. Okay, so here is Julian. He's also in his autumn attire. Uh, really cute sweater and pants combo, um, which was is also custom content. And the shoes are not custom content. I can't remember where they're from, but they're not custom content. That's all I know. <laughs> the, um, they're not base game, but they're from an expansion pack. Um, so... This is Julian. <laughs> I will insert some pictures of them at the end, some screenshots, um, so you guys can see them. But I'm actually gonna have him move, move like over here, so we can see him better because his face is like sideways, and that's not a good look. Okay, cool. So, Mr. Julian Fredrickson. So, um, if you guys haven't already kind of got the idea. Piper and Julian are, they're not engaged, but they are boyfriend and girlfriend. Woo. So, uh, that's their relation, you know, yep, Piper is Fred, uh, Frederick, <laughs> Piper is Julian's, um, girlfriend, yeah. So, Julian has 20 days till he ages up to be an adult, so that means he's one day younger than Piper, but that doesn't really bother me too much, because it's obviously not that big of an age difference, but that's kind of, that was like an accident, basically. Um, so here's star quality, family oriented, charismatic, ambitious, and a dog person, and his lifetime wishes to be a star news anchor, so he wants to reach level 10 in the journalism career track. So, at the moment, he is journalism level 3. He just got a promotion, like, five minutes ago. <laughs> um, and originally, he wanted to be a distinguished director. Because, I don't know, that's just what I chose for him. Because I've never done that before. And I thought it would be interesting. But I've also never done this one. So, I don't think so. So, yeah. Um, but, we live in Appaloosa Plains, so becoming a director is kind of hard when there's actually nowhere to work, and I didn't want them to move just yet. So I sort of cheated, but kind of didn't at the same time. I just went into Creator Sim and I changed his lifetime wish instead of getting the um, lifetime reward 
thing which lets you change it because it's really expensive ah oh, change lifetime wish okay it's ten thousand so it's not too bad because we are like only one thousand away from it but that back when i wanted to change it it yeah i changed it really early on so it's basically like he's always just wanted to be a journalist um oops uh so yeah so he just wants to be a journalist and that's kind of where the star quality thing came in is the distinguished director thing but i don't know it's it's pretty cool i think it's it's pretty cool so yeah um he's family oriented so he does want kids someday uh and i think i will i'm gonna have them have a kid or two sometime soon uh, he's also charismatic and ambitious, just like Piper is, and he's also a dog person like Piper is, so that is why they have two dogs. Um, the They both are shared dogs, I guess, but um, certain dog gets along with certain human, <laughs> if you know what I mean, or certain sim. So uh, they're all best friends forever with, um, yeah, they're all best friends forever with everyone they're all best friends forever but as you can probably see um uh julian has a better relationship with uh biscuit than with kaz so i'll just talk to you about them soon but yeah and he is a leo and he's he likes indie music goopy Car Car carbonara i don't carbonara i don't know how to say that <laughs> um and the color red and yeah we got robbed like i said before <laughs> oh no they're aging up so soon oh oh okay so basically i made all of the sims in this house i made julian i made piper i also made kaz and biscuit i didn't adopt i did not adopt dogs because i specifically wanted a pit bull and a dash and or Dashun, Dash, Dashun, I don't know, I don't know how to say it, it's like a weird German name or something, but Dashund. Biscuit is a Dashund, and Kaz is a Pitbull, because I love Pitbulls, and I don't know, when I, when I looked at the Dashund, um, breed in the creator pet thing, it, it looked so freaking cute, I couldn't pass it up, I could not just go to the next one, I had to have a Dashund, so biscuit was born but kaz um i did make kaz first and that's probably why he's older than biscuit but they were all made you know they were all made in one go but i made kaz before i made biscuit i don't i don't know i don't know why it does that but um yeah anyway uh so yes this is kaz mason so i did kind of base their last names off their favorite sim or you know like the sim that they have a better relationship with so as you can see he does have a better relationship with piper than with julian so he is um basically piper's dog but they're still they still love each other you know so he's non-destructive he's playful and he's friendly and he actually has skill uh, level 2 in hunting. And I forgot to show you Julian's skills. He's level 3 cooking, that's all. Um, I really need to work on writing skill because it's really bad and he doesn't even have the writing skill right now. So, oops. <laughs> oh well. Um, so yeah, this is Kaz. He's a male and so is Biscuit. They're both male dogs. And I love Kaz so much. I love pit bulls. Um, yeah, so... He's probably he's got enough to buy some buy some stuff, so uh that's cool. And yeah. Um and he wants to socialise with Biscuit, that's cute. Um and here we have Biscuit. So Biscuit uh ages up in twelve days. He's a male as well, obviously. He's playful, he's neat and he's friendly and he was also trained to be not destructive. Uh, he doesn't have any skills, but they both know a few tricks, so, um, we can, well, um, Biscuit and Julian work on tricks, and then Piper and Kaz work on tricks, so, currently the only tricks that 
Biscuit knows is sitting and speaking, but Kaz actually knows like four or five tricks. So, um, four. Okay, so he knows how to shake, sit, sit up, and speak. And we're working on rolling over at the moment. I think she, Piper's nearly done that with Kaz. Um, so yeah, she wants to teach him how to roll over and play dead. So that's cute. And, um, yeah. So now we'll do a house tour. I don't know. I'm sorry if I sound like really tired or really like distracted in this video. I'm sorry. But I am quite tired actually. But I, I just really wanted to film this right now. So um, that's okay. So uh, we'll just kind of do like a bit of a walk through thing right now. So uh, the th story behind this burglar alarm real quick. After we got burgled, I decided to get a fire... A f fire alarm i decided to get a burglar alarm so uh yeah there we go <laughs> uh because um i don't want that to happen again but murphy's law uh because <laughs> because i just got one we won't ever have a burglar again i that's just my luck that's my luck for you okay so we just got this like new computer because we had we were like completely broke for a while because uh neither piper nor julian had a job um for a few days so yeah so we ran out of money really quick and they both work on the exact same days so recently we went to the fall festival and we got this really cute picture taken of piper and julian i'm sorry if i'm talking really quietly or something because i just realized the mic was the microphone is away from me okay that's really helpful good job me okay um so yeah that's them at the fall festival that's real cute uh just waiting for everything to load in okay uh the house is really bland because i really don't know how to decorate in sims 3 so yeah as i was saying um i'm really bad at decorating in sims 3 and it doesn't help that we're also like broke <laughs> uh that's why it looks really bland um so yeah here's our sad excuse for a living room yeah uh with the little recolored rug and everything and here's a cute picture of piper and julian at the summer festival earlier on when i first started playing them and sorry about that oops <laughs> but yeah this is what piper looked like before um i downloaded a lot of custom content so now i have more in my game so i've changed up how she looks and yeah i really need to get some more furniture for the house as well because it it does look so empty you guys like yeah, I really need to watch some um, videos on like how to decorate and stuff. So if you guys know any good videos, leave them in the uh, comments below. But yeah, here is the bathroom. Um, also, I don't, I don't know why, I don't know what this glitch is. I don't know why it's doing that. So yeah, just ignore that. <laughs> I don't know what the heck is going on. But yeah, anyway, here's the uh, bathtub, which we use to just bathe. Um, Kaz and Biscuit and here's the nasty toilet and the shower over there and here is the sink basically with the little flower on there. It's really cute. So now we're going into Piper and Julian's room. So here is their room. It's super cute. Not really. I don't know. <laughs> but they have a really nice view outside. It's so nice. And yeah. So here's their bed and they have the photo of them at the summer festival. Another one because um, they both got one when they took the photo. And here's our sad excuse for a wall decoration. I know. Uh, it's so bad. So yeah, there's not really much in here. So I'm just going to go into the next room. So in this room, this is basically just the spare room, I guess. So yeah, this is kind of just their room where I keep the dogs. So this is Kaz's bed. This is Biscuit's bed. These are their toys, the university thing. Because um, I was kind of thinking of us sending them to uni, but I don't really know. I'm not really sure. And that's their toy bin and stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much it for in here. So that's actually it for the whole house. Oh, and the kitchen. Because I don't think I showed this before. So yeah, this is the kitchen. Um... Got some nice marble countertops, which I recolored myself, a nasty sink. Um, it's kind of blue and, like, cream-themed kind of thing, and that blue rug there. But, yeah, this is, like, the whole house. Um, oh, we also have a soccer goal out here that um, we redeemed 
we got from redeeming tickets at the fall festival. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the whole house. Hey guys, before you exit the video, stick around till the end and there will be some screenshots and yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like down below. Comment down below what you would like to see next and if you have any other suggestions, also comment them down below. And if you are new to my channel, please click that red subscribe button down below to join the Kiwi Clan. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Thank you.